Good evening, brothers and sisters. I would like to share a testimony. To protect the identity of the person that I'm going to speak about, I will call him Jeremiah. On Feb 3rd, I received a message from a very good friend of mine who's working in Doha. And she informed me that her nephew was involved in a car accident in November where government property was damaged and it was a case of drunk driving. So he had a fine to pay and they managed to clear that fine. And when he had to go and receive his court clearance, he was told that he has to spend two months in detention. This shocked the family because they did not expect him to be imprisoned. They thought that after paying the fine, he would be cleared. But they had no choice and he, he had to go into prison. They were informed that after two weeks, he would be able to appeal through a lawyer. So that's when my friend messaged me and informed me and asked me to keep him in prayers. And I told her not to worry. I shared two of the JCILM videos, uh, testimonies regarding the situation of cases and uh, being freed from prison that were for Blossom and Jason. So those two I shared with them and also Isaiah 54 verses 16 and 17 and Luke 4.18. What I decided to do was uh, write a declaration for her and asked her to keep confessing it. So the declaration said, the spirit of the Lord is upon the judging official and the favor of God rests on Jeremiah. Jesus, you will make the crooked path straight and perfect all that concerns him. No weapon fashioned against Jeremiah and his loved ones can ever prosper because he who lives in Jeremiah is greater than he who is in the world. Jeremiah is the body of Christ and created in the likeness and image of God. The mountains melt like wax in the presence of the Lord, and so also this trial will melt and disappear from their lives since they are all in the presence of the Lord. We know that God has promised that his word will never return to him void, but it will accomplish the purpose and plan for which it was sent. So when we mix God's word with our faith and give it back to God, the angels of the Lord start working in the spiritual realm and God's word is manifested. Thank you, Jesus, that you have finished it and Jeremiah is a conqueror in your name. Amen. I also shared Psalm 91 verses 9 to 12. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. I told my friend that these declarations should be said in agreement with the family through a WhatsApp group or maybe a Zoom meeting. And they just need to confess and believe that it is already done. And I told her that this is a time for Jeremiah to ponder and contemplate about his life, the two weeks that he was in prison is a time for him to decide what he really wants to do with his life moving forward. Because this Goliath that came into his life was for a reason. First of all, it was his wrongdoing. But then also, God has definitely seen a David in him. And so he sent him that Goliath. And so also for the rest of us in our lives, when we have to combat such Goliaths, it is because 
God sees a David in us. And today I received a message from my friend saying that the past two lawyers that they had were not able to do anything for him. But the third lawyer was able to put forward the appeal and he was released yesterday and everything has been cleared. So all glory to God and praises to our Lord Jesus Christ for all that he has done on the cross because I believed and I was praying too that this trial that they're going through, this case that they had to fight is already nailed on the cross, it is finished. And so I want to thank God for all that he does for us when we ask of him. And this is my testimony. Thank you so much. Praise God. It's such a beautiful testimony. Um, praise God. I'm just trying to recall some of the wisdom keys on this. Because this person was definitely going through a crisis, isn't it? Yes, a big crisis. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Brother Johnson, are you there, brother? Brother? Praise yeah, God. I'm there. I'm there. Yeah. Praise God. It's all, that's what I was praising God and I'm saying. The one who shared the testimony was all faith declaration, scripture yeah. based, yes. no begging, no, no this side, that side, to the point. And uh, what she said was very true, that this David is born when he faced the Goliath. Amen. Praise God, so, amen. So crisis has come not to destroy him, but the crisis has come to change the direction of his life and the whole family as well. Amen. Praise thank God. God for this lady who gave them the scriptures, gave them testimony as well, and did not give some messages or prophesy, but yeah. give them give them the strict word of yeah. God. Blossom's so this is what this is what we need it to happen in the church more and more, so that people's lives are rooted on the word, and they no longer operate by fear, but they operate by faith. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God. It was an amazing, amazing, uh, you know, yes. very, 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 very good testimony. Very Praise powerful God. and profound, brother, because in the Gulf, when things like that happens, and this is, uh, it was mentioned, Doha, Qatar, yeah? So yes. they are very, very, very strict. And especially if you're drinking and driving and if you have damaged uh, government property. So amazing and it's through the word of god that this entire thing was solved so quickly praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus what i like most what touched me most was when when she said uh, the crisis came into his life because jesus saw a, a david in him so that was a very very nice revelation that touched me yes in every crisis we see david so that we get the Head of the Goliath in our hands. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. So I would you. like to say. I would like to say one line. You can write it down. Nothing yes, leaves heaven. Nothing leaves heaven until something leaves earth. Nothing leaves. Wow. Praise God. Amen. Wow. Mm, nice. So, what was this? Precious sister teaching the family instead of speaking the facts that would only activate the kingdom of darkness against them. So yes. she taught them to leave the seed of faith through the promises of God and that's when heaven starts moving. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Without a seed, there's no harvest. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So what this lady has to tell that boy is stop looking at where you have been and start looking at where you can be. Stop wow. looking at where you have been and now start looking at where you can be. Jesus. And this is for each and every one of us that 
you must have been going through crisis or whatever has happened stop looking at those events and start looking at the promises that is promising you where you can be praise god amen praise god and uh, another key word that i would like to say is what she was saying or what she said determined what god becomes willing to do for you so what you say or what i say determines what god becomes willing to do for me for me so what happens is when i say something wrong then even though god is willing to do he cannot do because it's going against the system you see yes so what she was doing was she was teaching them the kingdom system that in spite of your son being wrong in spite of all that was against him but the moment he repented god still intervened in his life and changed it and brought him out free praise god praise but this is testimony i received from sister olga okay praise so god. what i say determines what god becomes willing to do for me praise god praise god the other one is uh, what this boy needs is the only reason men fail is broken focus the two lawyers tried their best it did not work the woman of god got into the scene changed their focus from fear to faith and faith declaration what happened what was failure turned into success amen so now what the parents need to do is they need to make faith declaration on jeremiah and continue to make more and more declarations on him and at the same time never talk about what has happened in the past amen praise god praise god praise god so papa again sorry when you yeah, said the me. first declaration it it took me back to our father thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so correct. that was what came into my mind again papa praise correct god. praise god so so when we do the faith declaration remember that faith declaration ignites the fire of god because it's not your declaration it's god's declaration to you and you're saying it back to god so the fire is ignited the presence of god is activated and remember wherever the presence of god is that's the place where everything of the devil begins to die out because that fire of god in the presence of god destroys the evil of the devil so weaknesses addictions bad habits all of that begins to die in the presence of god so when Amen. a person is doing faith declaration actually speaking that faith declaration is calling god's presence in that place and when you remember when you say god's word back to god in agreement god becomes extremely pleased because now you are exercising faith and now heaven can back up everything where satan has a hold and destroyed completely and set his children free amen praise god amen praise god so amen. what happened to this boy was painful for the family painful for the boy but the good news is the pain of a past the pain of a past will decide a passion for the future the Amen. pain of a past will decide a passion for the future so what was painful the woman of god gave the word of faith praise god and told them to declare they did not know how it works 
But now when they saw it work, and they are sure that it has worked, because the two lawyers could not do the job, after confessing and making the faith declaration, they got the right blacksmith who could go and prepare the weapon and get the boy out. So what was painful of the past has now given them proof and evidence how the kingdom of God works. Now it is up to them to decide that we will live in that same passion that we wanted our son to be out. The passion will not die because now we want the passion that our son not only is successful in his job and all that activities, but is more successful in his relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And remember, Satan always attacks those next in line for a promotion. Satan always attacks those next in line of promotion. Praise God. So if you are on a line and you have you are going to get a big promotion, remember Satan will come to attack you. And that's a proof that your promotion is close at hand. Quickly pass the test. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It's amazing. So in, this help line, in this helpline, there are different people doing different kinds of helping people. Now remember, the anointing that you respect. Now all that breakthrough that you get is because of the anointing that is on your life. So this anointing that you respect is the anointing that increases in your life. So when you use this anointing for people around you to bless somebody and you respect and honor that anointing, that same anointing as you go and solve people's problems, that same anointing will solve your problems. Yeah, Olga. Uh, Papa, what I wanted to let you know about this person is uh, you'd be shocked to know that he's actually a married man with two children uh, who was imprisoned. He's not a youngster. He's like all, over 40. And it, it was so devastating for the family, for the wife and the children, especially when you're in a Gulf country for something like this to happen. Mm. And mm. that is why I told my friend, you know, he needs to seriously ponder upon his life. And maybe these two weeks that he had just by himself in prison must have made him definitely realize, you know, that he needs to take a different path and, seeing how God has manifested in his life now is definitely also going to bring him closer. You know, it's going to change his total outlook of how he was living in the world. So I just wanted to let you know that part because you spoke about his parents and all his parents are no more. He's a, an adult. Oh, okay. I thought he's a youth. Sorry. Yes. No, 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 not at all. I, I just said, I wanted to let you know how, uh, you know, uh, different uh, adults are into different things of the world and when these situations come into their life this is how god wants to actually be a part of their lives and this is the only way that it can happen all these kind of goliaths coming into our lives marriage problems job problems health problems this uh, problem with the police uh, in a gulf country it's it's very scary. So yeah, um, you know it. It, it kind of brought the whole family together. And uh, when I sent this prayer to, uh, to my friend, the de declaration, I told her, "This needs. This is God's word. Please understand what I've sent you is all scripture and it's God's word. So when you speak it out, it's go. It it's shooting out darts and it's it's killing all those hurdles that are coming in the way and." whoever the lawyer is, is going to be able to move forward because Jesus is just, you know, straightening all those crooked paths and you have to believe it as you're saying it and it is going to happen. So just get together, all of you, say it together, 
and confess it you know and that's why i wrote it down for her so that they can all say the same thing and say it in agreement and it happened mm-hmm. so today you was the day to... olga yes olga papa. where did you go to get your certificate to do all this i know it was amazing from Very you papa well <laughs> from you so where did you go for Melbourne. your training <laughs> to jcilm all the teachings and uh, melbourne and um, okay how many people start... laid hands on you no nobody nobody has laid hands on me papa nobody so that that's what i want people to listen to it again all the yes. how many people laid hands on you no one has laid hands on me papa nobody so how, how many people came to your house to teach you um uh, i have received my teaching since 2019 april just watching the jcilm um, videos before melbourne all the videos from ireland and australia and uh, yeah mostly uh, ireland uk uh, australia are the ones that so so we so me- that means that means we have never come to your house no <laughs> and still you no. can get it Yes, oh God. yes. Yes. So how many times did you beg JCLM to give you that anointing? Not at all. Because so as means, you that means that means you are trying to say that means you're trying to say without contacting us going on the YouTube you got all that? Yes. Because oh. you're giving us a thing every day we are writing notes and Uh, i mean we are listening there are so many testimonies papa and in each testimony there are scriptures being announced notes are being sh- shared with us so you can go and so, write your so own is it a fluke game is it a luck game no not at all no luck in this or is it simply an instruction game it is an instruction game and as you keep sharing and sharing more more of it with your friends as you learn uh it, it just gets better